assalamu alaikum welcome to the learning mentor so in this video we are, we are going to be learning how to create an air foil in soilworks so let's get started uh, so the task is to create an air foil naka 23012 with a smooth leading edge with the dimensions uh, cord length of 100 millimeter and span of 100 millimeter so basically the cord length is the, the dimension of the airfoil the distance from the leading edge to the trailing edge is known as cord length the span is basically th the amount we will be extruding for the airfoil so our main task is first to create an cross section of NACA 23012 which we can extrude for the airfoil so let's get started with the dimensions so i will i am just simply searching uh, naka 23012 in my browser so the first link i i have been getting is of airfoilstools.com okay so here is the air foil which we have to draw this is the cross section of the air foil which we have to draw now there are many options i can send it to an air foil plotter or uh, see this dat file but i am going to select from here select format dat file so as soon as i click over here i get this now it says that it is 12 percent now i am going to select all this data and i am going to open my excel As soon as I open my Excel, I can paste over here. Now, as you can see that the data is uh, in in cell, it is both data. So I want to separate this data. So I am going to go to data, and then I am going to do text to columns. I prefer using fixed width or delimited. You can also use it. select this data and then text to columns fix with next next finish so the data has been separated right now for solidworks to capture data we need three points in x and y and z coordinates the z coordinates will be zero because we are not importing a 3d curve we are only importing a 2d curve so I am going to make sure that the Z dimensions are zero. So this is the Excel file we need to create. Now the important step is to uh, save this file. Now I am going to save this, this file to my desktop in a folder naming it and uh, Naka air file now i am going to change its type to tab delimited text make sure this is tab delimited and then save this file and close your excel file now i have opened my soilworks i am going to select front plane and i am going to go to features curves curve through xyz points I am going to browse my file where I saved. It's on my desktop, the new folder I created. I am going to change to text files. This is the NACA air file I want. I am going to just simply OK this. Now you can see I don't, I cannot see mine. So we have this option zoom to fit in Sidebox. So you can see this is our air foil cross section but if i zoom in the edges are not complete so we are also going to complete this hole i am going to select front plane normal to sketch now i am on sketching on the front plane 
so basically I am going to select convert entities select ok so this has been created but this is fixed around this corner so I am going to first hide this feature of curve which we created earlier now this is only the sketch we have I am going to select this curve copy it with using control C and control V now we have a free air file I am going to delete this one for simplicity ok I am going to move this a little bit over here now you can see that these edges are not completely fine first of all I am going to create a center line which will be perpendicular to this line so I have created a perpendicular line over here I am going to exit select I am going to go to the leading edge of this center line I am going to pick a point over here and create an vertical line ok I am also going to create a tangential line to this point I am going to select this and this tangent ok so this line is tangent to this airfoil and this is perpendicular to the airfoil I am going to create now a tangent arc from this arc menu select this point and this point an arc will be created and our geometry is complete so we have now a complete cross section of airfoil but we don't have mentioned the dimension of these so first of all I am going to create its uh, chord line so I am going to pick from this point and match the point over here ok I am also going to create a center line from here I am going to select these two points two lines this and this point intersection ok so now our airfoil is ready now only we have to uh, give dimensions to it as you can see some of our uh, have been uh, some of our lines have moved because of the tangential dimension given I am going to select the front plane normal because I am moving too much ok so it is ready I am going to delete this line first of all I am going to create another line which will be a straight line and which will so the line has been completed now I am going to smart dimension we needed the code length of 100 millimeters so I am giving this uh, 100 millimeters length 100 millimeters so now this is 100 millimeters length I am going to make a relation with this origin and this is going to be coincident ok 
so now this sketch is fully defined okay now go to features extruded boss base now we wanted a span of 100 millimeters 100 okay so you can see our air file has been created i am changing this to soft spotlight you can see our air file has been created you can add material of your choice to it i am adding plastic of low gloss okay this is now fine plain white this is our air file which we have created i hope you like the video kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, for more videos related to cfd and uh, excel please stay connected to me via my social profiles thank you very much